Hey everyone and happy Monday. So yes, the vlog is starting on the right day today. I've not lost the footage, thank goodness. Uh, I have just been editing this morning and I had a really productive morning. I woke up reasonably early. One reason being, I slept in here. Ian was snoring really bad, so <laughs> I came in here just to make a cup of tea because I couldn't sleep. And then I ended up just like falling asleep and I slept in here. But it was fine because I actually slept reasonably okay in the end. And uh, then, so I was up and about fairly early. I've got my vlog done, uh, the weekly vlog vlog which is going up today i have what else have i done loads i got up and was just like tidying round because we tidied up so much at the weekend we don't want to let it go again and get messy so i did that and now i'm just having a little cup of tea while i wait for the vlog to export and then i'll upload it it's so dark in here you probably can't tell i don't know it looks a bit shadowy it's so so gloomy it's about 3 p.m it's not even 3 p.m yet and i feel like i'm gonna have to put the lights on yeah i think this week is going to be gray we had those few days of like hot sunny weather which was so weird for february and now i think it's going to be like rain and really windy weather for about a week i think so misery to that but you can't always have <laughs> nice weather especially not in the uk it never really knows what it's doing and i'm very excited to see brogan on wednesday i didn't tell you guys in the weekly vlog that you would have already seen by now from last week that that's what i was planning for the wednesday but you will have seen probably now on instagram and stuff uh, so i'm really looking forward to meeting her on wednesday i can't wait and tuesday which is yeah tomorrow <laughs> I'm getting lost in my days tuesday is ian's birthday so we are going out for dinner tomorrow night so that will be really good too but other than that i have a lot to do this week i've got some blog posts that i'm doing finally i feel like it's been the longest time since i've actually done any blog posts there was just so much travel going on towards the end of last year everything went out the window in terms of blogs so i'm getting back onto that and need to do some more writing my laptop is still being weird um it's been a little better this morning i must admit editing the vlog was relatively easy it's not running very slowly but the fan is still on ian thinks it might be a faulty sensor where it like thinks that it's too hot when it isn't but anyway i don't know it's annoying and i need to get it sorted out so i might have to take it into an apple store i do have cover like insurance cover but that's really more for if it's broken like if you've had it stolen or you've accidentally done something to it or whatever so i don't know i just wish it would fix itself like last time but that might be wishful thinking i think six and a half hours later good evening it is way later on in the day now and we have had dinner i've got really bad stomach this evening and i don't know if i'm just getting a bit sick i felt a bit off the last few days and um yeah not feeling good at all so i'm probably going to go to bed soonish which is really unheard of for me as you know i go to bed super late all the time but i'm feeling really tired so i'll probably have a cup of tea do a few more things on my laptop i just want to import the footage for tomorrow that i want to edit which is the video to go up on wednesday and then <laughs> see what i mean about being tired um, i just want to have it imported because the laptop is being a bit slow then in the morning i can get right on with editing because i don't want to have to do that when i get up and that is pretty much all that's been going on it's been a very quiet day how's your day been it's been monday <laughs> monday you're still a bit tired from the weekend i think well oh. yeah but actually tired not just like hungover still yeah like just real sleepy time. tired yeah yeah well we didn't sleep very well on was it friday night we didn't sleep well i didn't sleep good friday night and mm. i didn't sleep very good saturday night because of the people shouting yeah. and then i didn't sleep good last night because i slept out here because you're snoring so i'm three days of not good sleep at this point in time but only two of them were my fault mm, no need for that no, no need for that thank you <laughs> that's better good afternoon and happy tuesday yes it's the afternoon this morning i just got up reasonably early actually i got up around the time ian went to the office and uh, he usually leaves reasonably early and just got on with editing i didn't put makeup on i didn't kind of i just made coffee got on with the editing and i'm still doing it now i have taken a break part way through uh, just to do something else for a little bit because when you're editing a video that's like a sit down video 
the editing can get a bit tedious after a while not that i'm saying i'm bored by my <laughs> videos that's not what i mean but editing them is just not as much um fun or not as interesting as editing a vlog so i'm just finally taking a look at some stuff that arrived the other day and i could not quite believe the deal i got on this stuff i'd gone to the superdrug website to look for a certain palette with some shades in very similar to one of the naked palettes because i'm doing a makeup look on um my other channel for my disney in detail and what i wear to the theme parks and the eyeshadow palette i use is quite expensive it's an urban decay one so i just wanted to see if revolution had something really similar so i can offer an alternative idea of what people could use because by the time you've bought loads of makeup it can be a bit crazy so that's what i was looking for and i did find one but what i ended up getting so i've seen this palette before which is a nude palette so these are all matte shades as well and i much prefer mattes to shimmers in general and actually this kind of looks a different color on camera it's much more warm toned and it looks quite cool um through the the screen as i'm looking at it then this one is the shade and light palette kind of a bit similar i think to the kat von d shade and light palette or certainly inspired by that one and this one which is the iconic smoky palette is the one that is the dupe for my Urban Decay, which is for the actual video. And it's really perfect because the palette I am gonna be using in the tutorial is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky. So this one really is almost identical. The colors are so similar. But I also ended up picking up this concealer. It's one of the ones with the sponge bits on the end, a new mascara that was highly recommended, and this brow, whoops, brow pomade, which I've been meaning to try because I've heard good reviews. Anyway, what I wanted to tell you guys, because I'm going to take photos of all of this for blog posts and stuff as well, all of this stuff I got for £19 something. It was less than £20 for all of it. There was like a three for two, then there was like 15% off all of the items. It was absolutely crazy. So I could not believe three palettes and these three things for less than £20. What is going on? Their eyeshadows are actually really good quality as well, so I just could not believe my luck. That was amazing. And I'll link all these things below. I don't know if they're still on that same offer, but pretty crazy. It is later on now, about 5.30. Ian is on his way home. I think he left about half an hour ago. I was just talking to my brother um, who lives in South Korea, for those of you who are new here and didn't know that. So um, I always try and catch up with him whenever I can. And uh, now I am just basically, like I said, waiting for Ian to get back. My video is taking forever because the laptop is still not cooperating. It's fine, I can use it, but it's just so slow. So this video has taken me virtually all day which I'm not happy about that is too long for one video um sometimes complicated videos do take a really long time but yeah I'm kind of over it I need to be finished pretty soon but I'm excited for dinner tonight and um, this new place looks really good so I can't wait to try it out and I totally forgot to show you what I got Ian for his birthday this seems random but he loves popcorn and this is the one that kind of air pops it so it's reasonably healthy you don't have to add any oil or anything and I also obviously picked up some popcorn so we can try that out later and I also got him one of the Costa cups the same as the one I have the one that keeps your coffee really hot because he really likes mine we are on our way to <laughs> the restaurant and we really should have walked it's not that far but it's pouring rain so we were like oh let's take the car not thinking about the fact of the traffic at this time of night so it's taken us probably twice as long to get there in the car as it would have if we just walked but it is raining a lot so we kind of didn't want to um, get soaked the place we're at is called Hubbox Hubbox. Yep. And it looks pretty good. It's a pretty big menu. I don't know what I'm going to have. There's like a lot of burgers and yeah. a lot of like crazy fries. Not crazy fries, but. Different yeah, like fries. loaded fries yeah. and um, fish is another big thing by the look yeah. of it. And steak looks pretty good and it's really like nice decor in here as well so we have a chicken strip starter that smells amazing it feels boiling hot so Ian's, hung very fresh. Ian's hungry I'm a little bit worried about him burning his mouth like he did the I other night but... <laughs> well the reason I burned my mouth the other night was for different reasons wasn't it <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on the lemonade tonight so... you'll all be glad to know <laughs> my own self what does it really hot is it good yeah, and this looks so good. 
cheesy fries. These onion rings are enormous. Ian's got sweet potato fries, which I'm going to steal one. Mm. Really good. So it's much later now. It's like 12, 13. No, it's not. It's 1 a.m. Oops. Um, I really need to go to bed. Like I said, tomorrow I'm seeing Brogan. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. It's been raining all evening. Like since we went out for dinner, it's absolutely tipping it down and it's just not stopping. It's really miserable. I hope it's not going to be like that tomorrow, but I will take my umbrella if it is. And I've just got to go to the post office on the way there to post this stupid curling iron, which has finally got resolved and I now have the correct address to send it to. So I'm going to go do that. Ian's already gone to bed, obviously, because it is quite late. I've just been up finishing a video and um, I was doing the thumbnail and I just didn't like it once I'd done it. So then I had to do it again. And, you know, if you make videos on YouTube, you'll know what I mean. So <laughs> I had to do that and I'm all done now and just sort of getting finished up and then I'm going to go to bed. So I will see you in the morning for a very exciting day. Obviously, I will be taking my camera and vlogging. So I will see you then. Good morning and happy Wednesday. It is a very rainy Wednesday. Um, I am about to go and meet Brogan. I need to go and post uh, something on the way. So I'm going to leave now. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited to meet her. I can't wait. We're going to go and just get some lunch and stuff and have a good old chat. Um, it's so nice to meet someone that you've been speaking to for so long. I feel like I already know her. Uh, so yeah, I just cannot wait to do that. But first, I better get my umbrella. Hey. Look who I'm with. Inception. I know. Finally, on each other's finally, finally, and look where we are again. Yes. Same food. Rogan's got the same thing, but with salmon. Yep. And I've got my my old favourite, which I have every time. It's really nice and quiet in here today, and we've just been chat 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 since we got so here. Much <laughs> yeah, we're gonna eat this before it goes cool. Hey guys, so it is much later now, as in I think it's coming up to seven quarter to seven and um Brogan has just left we were chatting so much that um we just totally lost track of time we went for lunch this morning and then came back here for a cup of tea and have just been like chat 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 and to be honest I could have carried on chatting for a very long time so I am just having a bowl of golden grahams because we haven't eaten since about I guess like midday we had our um lunch and now I'm starving. So Ian's just popped out because he has to go play Netrunner down the road. We haven't eaten dinner yet. I think we'll probably figure something out when he gets back because he shouldn't be too late. So I'm just having a biscuit brew and some Golden Grahams. And I've just got a couple of things to do, like editing wise and just responding to some emails and some comments and stuff. So I'm going to do that. And I would have filmed more with Brogan. I know you're probably all thinking, oh, we hardly saw her. And I know we really didn't film much, but we were just chatting so much that, that the entire day just basically went with us chatting so next time I see her I promise I will get her to say hi a bit more than I did in this vlog but it was so great to meet her we do chat all the time and she's so lovely and it was just amazing so yeah really had a great day later so we've decided now is the moment to test out Ian's birthday present please excuse my washing up in the background because I still haven't done it yet and I'm gonna put some of this on mine because this is like really fine powder so this usually sticks pretty well to the popcorn so I have a bit of that and obviously it's a little bit better than sugar as well anyway. I think you can like rest it on and then you just like pour it in. Oh, you oh, tip it in. some of it came back out straight away. And this guy goes on top. And I think if you want to, you can melt butter in there. You can put butter there. in there and yeah. then you could tip it on, I suppose. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Sorry, I'm mildly excited by that. So, he's plugged in and I think you just we just turn them on. <laughs> smells a bit like burning. <laughs> I was going to say, it smells... Not great. It smells like new kitchen appliance heating up. There's the hot air coming out there as well. Oh. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Whoa. Oh, it's oh my god. It's really spicy. <laughs> oh no, there's too much. Oh no, there's a blockage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Blockage. And there we have it. And if you want to make more than one batch, you have to wait 10 minutes, it said, in between, because the thing does get quite hot. So 
So in an unusual move on a weekday, I've decided to make some pancakes because we didn't have them on um, pancake day on Tuesday because it was Ian's birthday. So I decided to have some this morning. Ian's in the office today and he's not a huge pancake fan, not this type anyway. I think he doesn't really like crepes. I don't think he prefers like American style pancakes. So yeah, I'm just having some lemon and a little bit of sugar on these. Normally I wouldn't take time out of my day <laughs> on a weekday to make pancakes, but I had some eggs that I needed to use. So I figured, I will give it a go. Hello and happy Thursday. Those pancakes were so good, really, really good, and just what I needed. I've had lots of coffee this morning because I went to bed really late again last night. I don't really know why, I just did, and then I've been feeling really sleepy. I've been editing the final Disney vlog from the November and December trip, and I am then gonna be doing Disneyland Paris, so I'm just finishing that off. Later today, I am going around to Kate's, and we're just gonna be helping her friend plan their Disney trip. And I think I said earlier, I don't know if I did, Ian's in the office today, and he's going somewhere straight from work, so he won't be back till much later. I did receive a little delivery from Debenhams, and I ran out of some stuff that is the more expensive things that I have, like my foundation, which always really annoys me because I just hate <laughs> replacing it. So I got a new one of my Peach Perfect uh, Too Faced foundation, which is just amazing. I love this. And this pencil from Nuz, it's the Velvet Gloss Lip Pencil. I absolutely love this. It's in the shade New Lover. I've really been putting off replacing it because it is expensive for a lip product. I think it's like 22 pounds or something, which is a lot for something like that. But the shade is amazing. You might remember if you watch my Florida vlogs, I was trying to replace it and I kept being told that they're no longer doing it, although they still seem to have it in Debenhams, I don't know. Uh, but I can't find anything the same. I've tried, I did find something that I thought was similar and it's not, and I just absolutely love it. There's about two or three of my lipstick shades that I wear that I wear that over the top. So I just had to suck it up and buy it, but I hate spending that much on something like that but I do really love it and I was really close to the amount where you get free delivery and I would always rather get a product and get free delivery than pay for delivery because that just seems not worth it to me so I just picked up this mini Kat Von D Locket makeup setting spray I've never tried this one and I have meant to a few times I usually use the Urban Decay so we'll see what that's like and it's a good size for travel as well hello and happy Friday very very late start to the vlog <laughs> this evening it's like 7 p.m and I'm going out this evening with all my friends with Helen and Kate and Claire and Becky and one of Kate's friends is also coming along so I'm really excited we're gonna get some dinner and some cocktails and stuff and all day today I've just been doing laundry editing boring 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 so <laughs> I didn't film any of that uh, but I will take the camera with me so I can show you what we're doing because Helen is kindly providing some lighting now <laughs> we've had to resort to the phone torch to see what we're, we're looking at and I'm in the exact same seat that I sat in. If anyone recognised this table, we're at the same table that I sat at with the interview. And everyone else isn't here yet. Not just is this lighting me. good? Yeah, it's good. It's, you've got a haunting thing going on when you turn it. <laughs> like that kind of spooky look. So Helen's got a Thai, a, veg a vegetarian Thai green curry. There's a camembert going on there. And more garlic bread. No. Whoop, whoop. Burger with a bun. And I have butter no, milk chicken. So it's much later on now and I'm back from my dinner with the girls and it was really, really nice. I didn't take the camera and uh, I figured I wouldn't because I would use my phone and I really regretted that because we went to Cozy Club and I should have really thought but it's very dark in there. Normally I go during the day so I guess maybe I didn't realise but it was super kind of like dimly lit so I don't think the footage came out very well and it was just really nice to see everybody. Sometimes I see some of my friends more often than others but it's really nice to have everybody together and yeah we just had a good meal, good old catch up so that was really nice. And now I've just been kind of hanging out a bit, watching a bit of TV, having a cup of tea, but now I am getting sleepy, so I'm gonna head to bed. Ian is away this evening, so he'll be back tomorrow night. And yeah, I might have a bit of a lie in tomorrow because as you can see, I'm yawning, I'm super tired. <laughs> I've had really bad sleep the last few days. In fact, this entire week I've had really bad sleep, so it'll be nice to just 
have a bit of a sleep in I think in the morning not that I ever sleep in for too long because I think I've said before I just don't like feeling like I'm wasting the day and I'm actually getting a grocery delivery tomorrow which I never do on the weekend but for whatever reason I didn't get it last week and now we've really run out of a bunch of stuff so I'm getting a delivery from Ocado which we don't always get that often because they're a bit more expensive but they do some stuff that I can only get from there so I'm going to get my delivery from there tomorrow and i really barely filmed anything today so i will do better tomorrow so anyway that is it for me for tonight before i fall asleep while i'm talking to you and i will see you in the morning good morning and happy saturday so last night was really fun and i did have a bit of a lie-in this morning not too much i think i got up at like 9 30 which is a lie-in for me that's like really late and uh, just did some editing i just wanted to get some stuff finished and i will have to edit this vlog today um because obviously Obviously I'm going away to Birmingham with my mum tomorrow so Sunday will be included with next week's vlog but it does mean that I won't have time to edit the next few days so I need to get it done tonight and I'm just getting my stuff together for going away I've just got my new PJs there and oh I need to take that off that's my cabin baggage thing from Norwegian I think uh, so yeah I'm just doing this now so that I don't have to worry about it in the morning and I'm also just going to go through my planner and check what my schedule is for next week because obviously I'm missing a couple of days Monday and Tuesday I won't be here so I need to figure that out and make sure that I'll be able to get everything done it is now about 5 15 and I just realized that I've got my Ocado grocery delivery coming between 5 30 and 6 30 which I'd totally forgotten about so um yeah that's going to be happening soon and it's quite a big shop as well because we needed quite a lot of stuff so maybe I'll do a little or big grocery haul when that comes and I'm just sitting down to edit this weekly vlog that you are watching right now and then I will tag this footage onto the end of it tonight so then it will all be done ready for Monday because like I said I'm going away in the morning and I don't know about anyone else who does YouTube or even like other things if you work from home and stuff I always like to have background noise so I'm usually watching something or normally familiar things that I don't have to concentrate on uh, just stuff I've watched loads of times or sometimes I have music on but no matter what I'm doing replying to comments editing I like to have something I don't like silence in the background and I'm just about to watch The Holiday which is one of my favorite movies ever I just love that movie so much I could watch it over and over and it's a really great thing to just have on in the background if I am editing or something and I've just made a biscuit brew so I'm having that and I messaged Ian to see how he's getting on and what time he might be home I haven't heard anything yet so I'm assuming he hasn't left yet so it'll be quite late for him getting home I would imagine and I will just make my own dinner I think I'll probably make a mushroom risotto I think because Ian doesn't like that anyway and I guess he'll eat on the way home if he's going to be late so yeah that is what's up fairly boring average day but I am getting a lot done and then I need to finish off this packing later for tomorrow because I'm leaving quite early I think my bus I'm going by coach this time rather than train is at 8 30 or something i want to say so i won't have really time to do anything else apart from get myself ready in the morning okay groceries are here and like i was saying I, we needed quite a lot of stuff so this is a big shop and there's certain things i can only get from Ocado, so i just kind of stock up on it when i can so first up is yogurts and they had um these ones i've been talking about in my favorites video which i can't pronounce those are on an offer and also these which i absolutely love but they're quite expensive when you just buy them when they're not on offer so i grabbed a few of those because they were half price and then we have chicken these are like the little strips but they were on an offer so it's fine it's just chicken breast but it's easier to cut up i guess because it's sort of already cut up then some curry sauce ian has madras which he's crazy i don't like curry at all but i think that's pretty hot then three things of frank's hot sauce because i can never get that from the other place that we get our groceries delivered then french fries obviously ian loves those i had to get a different type of coffee because they didn't have the regular one that we have so hopefully that's good i've never tried it um obviously uh papa Dons for ian's curry i got some instant mash ian hates instant mash but i like to just have one on hand because i actually quite like it i got these eat natural fruits and fiber uh, cereal bars some cheese these corn nuggets i absolutely <laughs> love them they're amazing and i've been having these for years and just in their current format because they sort of changed the 
recipe i guess every now and again these are really good i got these old el paso tortilla strips because they were on offer so i got a cheese one and a regular i've never tried those before so they look good i've got some pak choy for stir fries i've got mushrooms which i'm going to have in a risotto tonight peppers for fajitas these little pesto pots i can't get those from the regular place that we shop but when i have pasta and it's just me you don't have to open a whole jar and then worry about it going bad it's just these like little uh, sort of one use pots then chilies for ian's curries and for some reason i have two packs of these although i'm convinced i only ordered one so i don't know what's happened there some salad leaves these drinks are the San Pellegrino ones that I was talking about in my favourites and I also got this flavour which is prickly pear and orange so who knows whether that'll be good but I heard some good things about it somewhere. Was it in someone's vlog? I don't know. I got some mint club bars. I haven't had these probably since I used to have them in my packed lunch at school and I love mint chocolate so I thought I would go for it. And I needed some more crackers and these just sounded really intriguing. These are beetroot and quinoa and they're in like smaller packs just so you can not have to open the whole box. So we will see what they turn out like. They sound very interesting. And I bought some burgers that were already made for Ian because they were on an offer with the chicken. Um, normally I make them myself but I figured on this occasion I'll just get those. Then I have some pears. These red ones are so good, but again, I can only get them from Ocado. Then I have milk, risotto rice, ice cream. This is the Briars one, which is low calorie. Then the lightest Philadelphia. Again, this is super low in calories and I use it to make dip for the tortilla strips, just so it's not quite as bad as regular dip. Then I have water chestnuts, leeks, onions, baking potatoes and I like cardo baking potatoes because they're actually big the ones I get from Morrison's are always really small and if I want it for lunch that's not the best then tomatoes and carrots and then I just picked up some custard for where I make my apple crumble so yeah that was a pretty big shop today later okay I've been threatening to make this apple crumble for the longest time because I've got these apples that are past their best which definitely need using now so I'm gonna make it right now and Obviously I can't be bothered to actually make the crumble because I'm too lazy, so I'm gonna use this. And I'm just making it in this really small um, little dish. It's like, there's my hand for scale. It's not very big because like I said, Ian won't eat it. It's only me who will eat it. So let's see how this turns out. So there is my little crumble. I'm not convinced that I've done it right, but we will see. It's gonna take about 35 minutes. So I will show you the result when it's done. And here is the finished product. I didn't get it out of the thing very well, so it looks kind of messy, but smells good and hopefully tastes good. So yeah, we will see. And I think I'm gonna leave it there for this vlog because I'm gonna add this on and get this edited this evening. So it's ready to go up on Monday. So next week's vlog will feature my little trip with my mum, which I'm super excited about. I had a really great week. It was so nice to catch up with all my friends. It was amazing to meet Brogan. So it's been a really, really great week. And as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and I will see you all in the next one.